what people don't realize is this this may be called the useless hotline but it is just therapy i'm here it to, is. i'm here to help max through his struggles yeah george is Hence just why here so to... many episodes <laughs> there you go george is just here to kind of wrap up the oh, loose bloody hell, one of us has to. <laughs> oh my god but yeah we, we swiftly left that place anyway right, okay. uh, but i once went to i think i've already told this story on tiktok so i may as well tell it with my ex-boyfriend we hadn't seen each other in ages this was in like 2018 so Very i was 19 years room, old it? well and we didn't have like a place to stay that night because i was like staying with my family or something in a hotel and he was staying at his place so oh my god no this makes sound really weird my family weren't involved okay oh i don't know what i'm saying i'm what getting you, the story mixed talking, up yeah, why don't you get anyway the story long story short i don't okay. know i don't remember how it was so long ago we couldn't like we hadn't seen each other in a while we wanted to make love to each other classic but like been there what am i like that's just like when we meet up after a yeah. while isn't it just one a whole week since the last podcast exactly need to make love immediately yeah we have to turn up 10 minutes before and yeah let's um, do it's full play and, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> and um we went to this place and i won't say its name because i don't want people to go there because it was terrifying starbucks but there's these have you heard of gay saunas no so well, they I mean, are i can sort of assume what they are no you can't trust me it is like i so we heard this and we thought that it was like a place that was like a gay friendly sauna just get hot and sweaty amongst men What's pretty much like? and that like you could have like your own private room there nice. and everything that you could like go and like do something if you wanted to obviously so i'm thinking i'm obviously yeah. in a relationship with my boyfriend it's a nice sauna where people aren't going to be like judging us yeah. and you can book like a private room like this seems like nice. perfect and it's literally on Oxford Street. Like, you wow. go down a corner of Oxford, Oxford Street, Street. <laughs> literally, and it's there, and it's terrifying. We got there. The first red flag was that we both got in for, like, five pounds, whereas the usual entry is, like, 30, because they thought that we were attractive, which means that a lot of attractive people don't go there. Um, right. And why are you laughing at the thought of someone finding me attractive? No, that's, that's really rude. At all. That's really fucking rude. Let me have a drink of my drink one that. And um, <laughs> grow up. Um, we go to try and find this like private room thing. We go in. First of all, there are a bunch of people led on sunbeds around this pool right. that was cold. By the way, we got in it. Oh, I forgot to even mention we ah. bought ah, we bought swimming trunks for it because obviously we get there. I'm putting yeah. my swimming trunks on. There's a guy in the chair. He goes, "No, you can't wear swimming trunks. No, you had to be naked. Red is not your color." <laughs> You had to be naked. What, I don't know what accent. That I don't is know what that was from, either. But... Yeah, I didn't like it. Um, and you needed to be naked, like so. They gave Where you a little hand towel on Oxford Street, literally. Okay, I'll make sure. I admit they that gave now. you a little hand towel to put around you. That's all you need. Well, there you go. Um, you could do, just you could do a little it, flannel wrapped around. Um, and <laughs> then we went into this like sauna place got into this thing that i thought was a hot tub it was freezing cold water at this point we're like Ooh. what is going on people are getting off with each other we're like let's just go through try and find one of those private room things yeah. we get into this is awful i can't even believe i'm saying this but i'm pretty sure that i've told this story but i don't know if i went into this much detail but this is aw like genuinely one of the most horrific on the edge of my, seat, times yeah, of my life sorry so we find this room ultimately we're very confused by the whole situation we're like we don't yep. really want to be here we contemplated leaving but then we were like well, once we get in a private room we'll just like chill out together it's like a comforting environment when it's just us so that's fine we go into this room do you know like fogged glass yeah it was like a fogged glass room okay. <laughs> thank so, god i knew about fogged glass there you guys <laughs> so we were like this must be the private room because you couldn't see into it yeah and then so we are in it it's quite like spacious we're like getting with each other and then I see that somebody has their feet going. There was like a little um, <laughs> thing above, like under the door. Do you know like right. when there's under a stall door, there's yeah. like a little gap. Yeah. They had their feet facing in at us. So I was like, what are you doing? I was outwardly saying like, what are you doing? Like what's going on? And then this person was just not moving. And I was like, right. what the fuck is your problem? Like I was getting really aggressive. And I was like, what is your problem? And my boyfriend's going like, oh no, stop. This is my ex-boyfriend, by the way, like five years ago. Right. Um, and he's like, what What are you doing? Like, don't worry about it, it's fine. He's like, they can't see us. He's obviously just a creep who's there. And I was like, well, I can't get off with you if there's somebody's feet like nearly touching exactly. us right there. No so feet, then, no meat. That's the... 
Absolutely, that's the common saying, isn't it? Um, everyone says that. No, feet no meat, no feet no meat. Would there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, and then we carry on getting off with each other, and then through the fogged glass, Can't stop I young see love people. Through the fog glass, I see that there's people all around us. Right. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, we are fully naked getting with each other. Yeah, I thought this was fog glass. Why can't I see you? Yeah, no, no, no. They they couldn't see us. Oh. And then I look up. There is a mirror above us where we could see everybody's eyes. We were in a box that is meant to be a display for other people to come and watch. Oh, so people had been watching <laughs> us since the since we'd got into the box because oh. we had deli- we had unknowingly got into a box that is meant for people to come and watch you. How do, do you un- surely there's a sign? There on was there no for that. signage, nothing at all. I could not believe you, it. You'd we be left. awful at a zoo. Why is no one else hopping in with the gorillas? <laughs> come on, guys! It was terrified we literally i nearly cried i ran out like all these people have been wanking off over us God. which usually is like good tuesday night for me yeah um if you get at least three at least three yeah three wanks a night that's a good one absolutely there was once this homeless man wanking and right, not to brag okay. but when he made eye contact with me he came you're right you shouldn't be bragging about that why not what do you have against homeless people nothing against homeless people mm, but you just... doesn't sound like it how the hell have you tried to spin this on? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What have you done? I don't know. It let, it like went down my breathe hole. <laughs> oh my god! So our audio listeners, uh, Max <coughs> decided to take a sip, and instead of sipping it, just spat it all over the oh table. Oh my god! I'm so sorry to everybody. What have you done? I don't, I don't even know. It like went down my. It was like gonna come out my nose. It went oh down. <laughs> that was awful. <coughs> oh, we're a bit of a mess, aren't we, right now? It's okay. We'll get through it. Um, we always do. But anyway, I went down yeah, the breathe hole. I'm quite upset that I just told that story. We genuinely... When I told that story on TikTok, you everyone was like, oh, they, already, they must have... Like, we must have known and we went there on purpose. We literally did not know what a gay sauna was to that extent. Like, we thought it was just like a nice sauna that where everyone was gay. Yeah. Um, and we <laughs> we thought that we'd be like the only ones like shagging each other. <laughs> It's all right, don't you? Health God. comes first. Look after your health. It's okay, George. <coughs> oh, bless him. Oh, God. Um, for the audio listeners, George has just stood up. Oh, and he's back. Oh, you survived. That's a shame. Um, <sighs> Sorry, there's just so much homosexuality. I'm allergic. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'd like to point out that was a joke. <laughs> Before anybody takes that out of context. It's not. He comes up in hives every time I'm around him. Especially when I wear pink. I did tell you you need to stop coming up in hives. Get stings on the penis. <laughs> hey. I've got um, Pokemon the coming crops. in the hives. The bees. I'm choosing to ignore you. They sting your cock. 